Lao National Television is airing a series of news reports in relation to Laos ASEAN Chairmanship. The ASEAN Tourism Forum and Visit Laos Year are taking place in 2024. In our today's news bulletin, we have the Sharp State Affairs and Head of Office of the Embassy of Canada in Laos, Bob Pekin, who shared with us his mission, his expectations, and his wish towards the year 2024 that could be a golden year for tourism sector as the country plans to host several major events. Over the next year in the run-up to the ASEAN chair year will be very exciting just as a, as a living breathing person driving around in the city. It'll be nice to see some of the roads improved and some of that infrastructure come on board. But uh, as well, we're looking forward to seeing, again, just the city really blossom and hopefully the rest of the country come along too. Because this is, uh, is a tremendous little place with so much potential and such a, such a happy vibe to it. The people smile regardless and that smile is something that I carry in my heart. On the tourism front, clearly it's getting the word out and happily that word is spreading. We've seen the number of articles earlier this year citing the world is reopened, travel is resumed, Laos is one of the key places to get to as soon as possible, so we're trying to get that word out too. Very happily, Air Canada has a direct flight between Vancouver and Bangkok for much of the year and that makes it a little easier for both Canadians to come but anybody from North America to come and visit this beautiful country short hot boat from Bangkok. We're hoping to make it a little easier to get Canadian visas here locally, so this is something that uh, is on the go. Stay tuned for news. Um, but beyond that, tourism infrastructure needs to be built up. We all know that uh, there are many beautiful places to see. Uh, it's getting to those places that's a little more difficult, so that's something that needs to be worked on. But then once you get there, again, hotels and tourism infrastructure needs to be built. And I know there are very solid plans in the works. In terms of broader investment desires, uh, we're doing our best to try to entice Canadian businesses to come and investment, investments to be made here in Laos. And in fact, we've got a brand new Canadian Chamber of Commerce focusing on exactly that. And so we're, we're looking forward to, again, more development on that front. And again, this was something that I was talking with uh, the Finance Minister about how to bring and entice Canadian investors here. One area that we're very strong on is the mining sector is something where we're hoping there might be some interest to bring some Canadian activity and, and money to Laos to develop, again, that sector. Beyond that, we're trying as hard as we can to, again, bring both Canadian businesses from Canada, but also working in other parts of the region to explore some of the opportunities here. And I'll add on one final sweet spot, just in terms of Canadian businesses operating on the ground here right now, if I can mention Felix in Cacao. This is a small company producing Canadian chocolate bars and chocolate products here in Vientiane and soon to be available across the rest of the country. You'll see them in stores but also online at Food Panda and Chompa. Something that we like to remind Canada with its very special flavors but particularly some of the best chocolate to be found in Laos. Thank you. Laos, simply beautiful.